Hannity Sports, exclusively live and free on Channel 5, now bring you the main event of the evening. A scheduled 10 rounds of boxing in an international super welterweight contest. This bout sponsored by Ladbrokes, Newman, Infinitum and Everlast. The bout sanctioned and officials appointed by the British Boxing Board of Control. Steward in charge, Tony Hedges. The area representative is Ryan Churchill. Inspectors working the bout are Brad Middleton, Jamie Reynolds and Warren Churchill. Three judges have scored the contest from ringside. Ian John Lewis from Doddington, Victor Lachlan from Barhead and Terry O'Connor from Birmingham. Timekeeper on the bell is Martin Fallon from Wolverhampton and upon the sound of the bell, the third man in the ring, introducing star referee John Latham from Bury. Those are the officials and they are ready. The boxers and their teams are in the corners and they are ready. So for the Friday Night Fight fans joining us live on Channel 5, let's get down to business. Standing in the blue corner with his head trainer Dave Brown, wearing black shorts trimmed with gold, and standing in the ring as a former WBA world title challenger and former British super lightweight champion. Boxing out of Paddington, London, introducing Ashley Treasure Filthy. And across the ring, standing in the red corner with his head trainer, John Pegg, wearing blue shorts this evening, and standing in the ring as a former British Commonwealth and EBU European welterweight champion, former WBC international welterweight champion, and former IBF international super welterweight champion. Boxing out of Smethwick, West Midlands, introducing the savage Sam Eggington. So John Latham is the man in charge. Eggington will set a relentless pace and Thea Fain will have plans ready for that. You can't help though with that the nagging feeling when a fighter is said he's thinking of retiring, he's going to retire. Should he have retired already, Richie? That's what everyone's asking. They are, but he's, I mean, he's a 40-year-old that, that's been quite active. Up until 2020, the pandemic has affected boxing in a big way, as it has everywhere. everywhere. But in 2019, he, he boxed four times, so that's quite active for a 40-year-old boxer. Um, so, you know, he still feels that he's got a bit left. Yes, he has talked about retirement, but he'll want to go out on a positive note. Dave and you know he's been sparring with Floyd Mayweather he did five years with Mayweather and Mayweather promoted him so the must he Floyd Mayweather must have seen something in Ashley Theophane that he liked used him as a sparring partner for, for many years so yeah he's, he's got quality but he's up against a very big and dangerous man in Sam Eggington look at the height uh, and reach difference in Eggington. He's coming forward straight away you can see the type of bout that it will turn out to be well, they both dealt with adversity extraordinarily well. Theophane completely reinvented himself after losing to Darren Hamilton, who took that fight at late, late notice. And Eggington has just never let a defeat, shock or otherwise, deter him from the job. Eggington trying to get on that front foot in this opening round already, George. Yeah, he's pressing off the front foot. Theophane boxing off the ropes. Um, no real big shots have gone in yet, they've landed. Um, I think the better work is with Eggington, he's, he's stalking, stalking his man well, a couple of good body shots went in there. There is that significant size difference, Theophane's best day surely at, at super lightweight, fighting a man who has through welterweight really and looks big at this weight. I think you can see what, what, what Eggerton sees here. 
Dave in terms of he's the bigger man, he's, he's very confident indeed and he knows that Theofane be, being 40 years of age he's got to box at a high tempo, fast fast tempo, um, high work rate rather, that's what Eggington's got to do and, and force the older man in, into work, literally to, to, to exchange and trade and make him work, that's why he's on that front foot, and he looks confident. Yeah, Eggington, bad intention of dragging Theofane into places he doesn't want to be. Been a good start from the man from Smethwick, not Stourbridge. He was very keen to tell us in the build-up. Yeah, big difference between Smethwick and Stourbridge in these parts, Dave. He said he got sick of people saying he was from Stourbridge. Could someone please put it right? So there you go, Sam. The left hook from Eggington. Good opening round from Sam Eggington here, Theofane. On that back foot, Eggington in command early on here. Ladbrook sponsors Boxing on Five. John Pegg and Sam Eggington there, happy with that opening round. George, we were talking about it earlier. You look at Sam Eggington's age, don't you, and you're always surprised by it. Just 27, it feels like he's been around forever. Yeah, it really does. It really does. 27, he's been involved in so many um, interesting fights, great fights to watch. That shock defeat, the one that resonates, uh, Hassan Muakinho. He just caught absolutely cold, but he even managed to, to bounce back from that. Got himself that Liam Smith fight. Liam Smith way too good for him, really, but wasn't discouraged by that either. And the Cheeseman fight was a huge disappointment for him last time, and he had plenty to say about the decision, what he thought of that. But he has to refocus here on Ashley Theofane, and not just tonight, but where it might take him beyond as well. He won't be thinking of that now, but he's still on a journey, Eggington. He's doing the right thing here. It's educated pressure here from Eggington. He's using his jab, his lead hand, just to close that gap down and to pin his opponent on the ropes. Theofane, he's got to keep moving. He's got to stay off those ropes. Movement will probably give uh, Eggington more problems to think about, most certainly. But if Theofane's feet are static, then it's going to be an easy night's work for Eggington. So he's got to keep moving, uh, Theofane. Eggington just mixed it up there and looked to the body as well. Hugely proud of working his way to that. World title shot against Adrian Broner that you were talking about in the build-up. It was remarkable that he, he got that far, really. Comfortably beaten by Broner, but no disgrace, certainly, in the defeat. And he topped the bill in Vegas. The fight after that, he's equally proud almost of that moment, too. This is good pressure, though, from Eggington, and the shots just maybe starting to take their toll, too. I think Eggington here, you know, he's varying his work also now, going downstairs, so he's, he's targeting the body, keeping tight with the guard, using that jab to close the gap and then switching the attack. I think, George, um, the tactics are really plain and simple for Eggington. Yeah, they are. I mean, he's using his, his size advantage really well. Um, Fearfaint just can't catch a break, can't get off the ropes, really. Um, he's He's tucked up, hiding behind the guard, hoping to punch off of it, but pretty much out of range. So far, it's a bullying display from Sam Eggington. And if there are doubts in the mind of the 40-year-old Ashley Theofane of how much he wants this anymore, well, they'll be tested now. They'll be at the forefront of his mind. Another big dig to the body there from Eggington. Yeah, that may be the tactic from Eggington to get Theofane to ask that question of himself early on in the contest. And does he oh, Theofane! Just, just got caught off balance there. There was a shot. 
I was going to say, yeah, four, he went backwards and there was five, definitely a shot that six, landed. He's frustrated three. by that. As the bell rings to end the second round. 10-8 round. On says boxing on five. Well, let's take a look at that moment again, Richie. There was certainly a shot that landed. Yeah, there was. It was a body shot, if anything, and he just catches him um, off guard, and he just, just stumbled a bit. He recovered. He's okay from it. Yeah, Theophan fine, and he's got to try and just change the pattern of this fight to round three here. All Sam Eggington at the moment. It's a kind of start, in fairness, George, that we might have expected. No, it's a great start from from Eggington. He, he's using, um, you know, his presence, his, his strength. He's back to Theophan up onto the robes and. He's, he's selecting his shots really well. Like, it's not always the same thing. He's going head and body well, left and right. Varying the shots. And that shot in particular, the right hook behind the elbow, has been a terrific shot. And he goes to the head straight away. 13 years. Thea Fain's junior. It's a good right hand from Thea Fain. A, a rare bit of success from him. It was well timed, that. There's that right to the body again from Sam Eggington. Yeah, Eggington was having a real good piece of chunk of success in this round and then gets caught with a right hand from Thea Fain. So that was uh, just shows you that this 40-year-old um, boxer has certainly got something left and that was a cracking right hand. Four months after Thea Fain lost his British title, Sam Eggington made his professional debut. Beat Leon Findlay in a Swansea nightclub, and it's been quite a journey ever since. There's nothing wrong with him chasing that dream either. To get that world ranking back and to get a shot, that's all that he wants. Fear fame throwing more shots here. Okay. He's probably got more of a chance actually, throw, throwing punches at short and mid range and dragging Eggington in. Here, look, so he's landing shots there. The problems he's going to have is if Eggington just decides just to lengthen the shot and just use the jab just to measure that gap and, and, and then throw that long right hand, that may cause him trouble. Does look like he's breathing a little heavier, Fear Fain, this round. Not sure if that little burst has took his toe a little bit or he got caught with a body shot beforehand. The work to the body cumulatively has been excellent, hasn't it, from Eggington? And he's just blowing a little bit, maybe, Fear Fain. Again, that. Dig to the body, and yeah, they shot. are starting to take their toll. <laughs> Ladbrook sponsors boxing on five. Here's some of that work. The right hand from Theophane, Richie. Yeah, that was his best shot of the, of the contest Corners, so far, Theophane. But again, it was another dominant round, I thought, for Eggington. 
Seconds out, round four. Well, there was some aggression there from Theophane. And he comes out at the start of the fourth behind that jab. But how much does he have left here? I thought in the last round as, as well, George, I don't know about you, but there was clear signs that the body shots were starting to take their toll on, on Theophane. Yeah, I think so. I think you're right, Richie. I think um, it looked like he was slightly breathing heavier. Theophane. You know, I don't think he wants to work for the full three minutes. You know, he, he, he wants to slip and slide, make, make Hagen to miss, and then maybe try and put a burst together the you know, last minute or so of the round. But... In the meantime, he's up against the ropes, and Egerton is finding the home for a lot of power shots. Beat former world champion in his previous fight, Ashley Theophane Cassie Muma, but at 41 years of age, and in a way, that's the point, isn't it? Egerton has got miles on the clock, yes, but so much youth on his side. Well, he's got youth and he's got size, Dave, hasn't he? You know, he's the naturally bigger man. It does look like the strength and maybe even the punch power is a big factor in this fight. I mean, Fear Fane, even when he lands shots, they seem to be bouncing off Eggington at the moment. Also that drive from Eggington, left hook there, ended a good combination there from Fear Fane. But every time that happens, Eggington just comes straight back at him. Yeah, he seems to be targeting the body more and more now, Eggington. He can sense that DFA may be just weakening slightly. What I liked from about Theophane's work earlier, two or three shots across his body, and to, to Eggington's body, body rather, then he finishes on the left hook to the head, which just catches Eggington. Just caught him out a little bit there. There's a good shot there from Eggington. He's the left and got kind of a good right hand there. Yeah, terrific right hand from Sam Eggington. Theophane felt that. Tough man, Theophane, only Broner has stopped him. But he's on unsteady legs here, maybe, just starting to tire. Maybe Eggington senses that. Approaching the end of round four, and Theophane has been on the back foot. For the whole fight, great work to the body from Eggington. <laughs> Got to get out of that corner, Theophane, get off those ropes. Got to move back into the corner, bad place to be. Movement restricted. <laughs> Eggington clearly on top. <laughs> to his massive credit, Theophane is throwing back and he's landing as well, but it's the size and the strength and the relentlessness of Eggington. Ladbrook sponsors Boxing on Five. John Peck there with Sam Eggington. Here's that right hand that he landed. That was a Corners, cracking shot, wasn't it, from seven. Eggington? Dear Fame was a little show, a little slow with his punches, and uh, gets caught with the terrific. Seconds right out, side. round five. One of Ashley Theophane's forgotten performances. <laughs> that split decision defeat against Danny Garcia 10 years ago, that was in uh, the Don Haskins Centre in El Paso, where myself and Richie once spent a surreal afternoon watching Carl Frampton. Also the debut that afternoon of a fighter you told me at the time would be a world champion one day, name of Josh Taylor. He's done all right since. Yeah, he's not bad, is he? Very good indeed, Josh. <laughs> Back to the business here, round five, Sam Eggington, the taller, bigger man in the blue trunks, if you're just joining us here on Channel 5 against Ashley Theophane, a 40-year-old trying to roll back the years. Up, 
And then that jab again from Edmonton, just measuring the distance and gap, and then switching downstairs, just teeing his opponent up, touching with that left hand. And George, you like it, an opponent who uses that approach just to touch him with that lead hand. Yeah, so you, I was describing it as varying the power. So yeah, you're touching him with the left, it's, there's, there's nothing on the shot, you lure them into a, a position where they feel safe, and then you, you whip something hard and fast that follows. You almost want to switch the guy off in front of you. You want to, you want to, you want to mentally switch off. Theophane has to hope that Eggington has burnt too bright in these early rounds. A little bit more success for him. He's very efficient with his work, Eggington. He's not burning up energy. Like Even when you see Theophane moving off there, punch his way out of the corner, it looks like it's, it's not that cost-effective like, cost work in terms of his energy. Good right hand there from Eggington. It might have just hurt Theophane. Yeah, that was a good shot. It was. You could see Theophane just clearly sort of sit back, didn't he? And again, just moving the head, trying to get out of the way. But that was a cracking punch there from Eggington. The shirt really starting to tell. Just the size difference of Eggington. It's, it's so clear and evident. And Theophane backed into a corner where he doesn't want to be. Another good right hand from Sam Eggington. Wants a statement win here, Eggington. Really feel the extent to which Theophane is feeling those body shots now. Great body shots from Eggington. If you look, when he throws a right hook to the body, it lands behind the elbow, but the left hook always comes between the, between the arms, through the middle, and that's, that's a sickening shot to get hit, like, in the, you know, underneath the ribs and then straight through the middle, maybe in the solar plexus. Tough shots to cope with. Ladbrook sponsors Boxing on Five. Yeah, yeah. That's why you've got to cover up the gap, cover up the gap, find the gap, because if you just give it a buddy, because we're going to be such a jab, you've got the chance to win the name, yeah? Boy, look. Hard job there, we've got a tough time there. Boy, hard job. Up the time. Might be the sign down, yeah? Might be the sign down, yeah? Final words there. Poor Sam Eggington, but they must be delighted in that corner with the way this is going, Richie. Yeah, they will be. They'll be very pleased, but they know that they're in against a very experienced man, and so they, they know that Eggington's just got to keep it going and concentrate. The biggest problem may, for Eggington may be complacency. He's winning this, he's winning it quite comfortably. But here you're in against Ashley Theophane, who's fought for a world title, who's experienced, so you've got to get the job done and you've got to concentrate in a contest like this. Yeah, worth reminding you that Theophane has 50 wins under his belt. Whatever happens in these final moments of his career, it will have been a fine career. All the work with Floyd Mayweather taught him plenty and also gave him some extraordinary memories as well. Settling into a, a disturbing pattern for Theophane, this back in that same corner, trying to move himself out of it, just trying to land something, trying to make a dent here in Eggington. Yeah, which is very, very difficult. Um, Eggington, if, if you want to wait, he's boxing. He's, he's strong coming forward, but his right hand's always very, very high, so it's difficult to actually catch him with the left duck. You know, he's got a, a good defence as Eggington. He's prepared to take a shot on the elbows, uh, and the arms to land a shot. He stands right in front of his opponent. See, there was an example there. Uh, Theophane trying to catch Eggington with the left hook. It gets blocked. And then Eggington comes back at him. He's got to move, Theophane. Very, very surprised that he hasn't um, opted for that. Just goes back into the corner. 
Well, that all-action style of Eggington, slightly open style as well, does show a vulnerability. Sometimes we saw that against the man from uh, Tanzania, Hassan Moekinho. But Theophane, that would have been his hope, but just hasn't been able to exploit anything here. And the constant pressure from Eggington. Good right hand over the top there from Eggington. You may have to try a, a few feints here, George, you think, just to just to do something different because Theophane's tucking up well, isn't he, to the body. He's yeah. blocking a lot of those body shots. I don't think there's a lot come back from Theophane at all now. Um, yeah, you're going to have to pr prize, prize that guard over. Yeah. Again, Theophane backed into that corner. That landed all right, and Theophane down. Shot to the body from Eggington. Five, and 40 year old six, Ashley Theophane seven, is dragging himself five. bravely to his feet. But John Latham has seen enough, and Eggington wins with a stoppage. It was relentless pressure, it was good punch picking as well. And in the end, the finish was devastatingly brutal to the body, George. No, it was. Uh, I, I secretly thought it was going to be on the left. I thought it was going to be a slashing shot that was going to go right through the middle and it was going to... Them, them ones were really hurt and sting, but it wasn't. It was a clubbing right, right hook behind the elbow and it just sucked all the life out of um, Ashley Fearphone. And you see it go in there um, and you see the body just do that slight shudder when... You know, it's such an impact shot has landed and he just couldn't recover from it. I think the job was made easier for, for Sam Eggington tonight because of the lack of movement from Theophane, so it's a static target. And he just kept pounding away, hasn't he, downstairs? But, but overall, the performance was good because he didn't just go wading in, he used his jab very well, he measured that gap and distance, closed the gap down, and then switched downstairs to the body. And eventually, the bigger man came through, the more powerful man came through in Eggington. Yeah, it was a great shot indeed that did it, but I think it was an accumulation of many punches that eventually took their toll. Good performance overall, though. Good respect between them. Theophane still wincing after that finishing shot, and it was that cumulative power to the body. We can make it official now with our MC Paul Booth. The official end of the contest falls at 2 minutes 58 seconds of round at number 6. Referee John Latham stops the contest. In his professional opinion, Ashley Theophane is in no position to continue. Your winner, the savage Sam Eggington.